Today I'm going to teach you how to create a Salesforce web to lead form with a CAPTCHA and then put it on a live website. Coming up. Okay, so what do we mean when we say web to lead? Web to lead is a Salesforce functionality that allows you to create a form that originates from Salesforce and then you can take the code that Salesforce generated and you can put that form on a website. So when a person goes and fills out that form on the website, that information will automatically get kicked over into Salesforce into the leads object. So it will store that information as a record in the leads object. All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to basically regenerate this form that's on this website. In our Salesforce instance, uh, we're gonna generate the code uh, and then we're gonna come over to this website which is built on Webflow and we're gonna uh, input the code as well as the CAPTCHA. We're also gonna cr create a CAPTCHA on Google's website. We will take the CAPTCHA code and we're gonna put it in a special spot in Webflow so we can get this CAPTCHA working as well. Okay, so step one, if you don't already have a Salesforce instance um, and you, we're just, you're just playing around and you wanna practice with it, you can go to salesforce.com and you can create a developer org. It's a fully functioning, scaled down uh, version of Salesforce that allow us to create this web to lead form. So go there, fill out this form, and then once you fill it out, they'll send you an email, click on the link, and then it'll allow you to uh, create that Salesforce playground instance or developer instance that you can log into and start creating the web to lead form. Step two, so we're gonna create the CAPTCHA. So a CAPTCHA is a mechanism uh, that a lot of website forms have that you have to check uh, before you submit. This is used to prevent a bunch of spam messages or spammers inundating your form with a bunch of, of submissions. So we're actually gonna create that at Google and this is a site right here. So you're gonna to go to uh, google.com slash recaptcha slash admin. I'll put a link in the description. And this is where we can uh, recreate the CAPTCHA. So just show you what that looks like. If you come over here, this is what a recaptcha looks like. You tick a box as a verification that this isn't a spammer, and then you hit submit and the, the record will get created in the, in the lead object. So let's just go back and for the purpose of this demo video, I'm going to create a new recaptcha. This is the current one I have in place on that website. So we're gonna click here over to the plus sign and we're gonna create a new one. And so we're gonna give it a label. So I'm gonna call this uh, recap captcha demo. When we come down here to the type, we're gonna say it's Challenge two, this is the typical I'm not a robot checkbox. So we're gonna go with that one. For the domain, we're gonna put in the domain of the website that the recaptcha is gonna be on. So for this example, it's cloudsystem.com and click the add sign to add that. Uh, we'll give it the name under the cloud system website, submit. So once you hit submit, it's gonna give you the site key and the seeker key. So we're gonna take these keys and we're gonna go back into our Salesforce org that we created earlier. So once you're in your Salesforce org, now comes step three. Step three is to create the web to lead form. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to just type in web and then one of the first options that should come up is web to lead. So we're gonna click on that. Um, and it brings up here I uh, just wanna make sure that require recaptcha verification is enabled. If you need to check that, just click the edit button and then check that off. And then like it says here, reduces spam. That's already checked, so I'm gonna hit cancel. And so we're gonna click, click this button, create web to lead form. And here it's asking us what fields um, do you wanna capture as a part of the form? So I don't care about state and province. I don't care about city. The ones I really want is just have first name, last name, email, and then the company. Um, the company, which we, when we then convert that lead into a contact, the company will be created as a part of the uh, account record. Down here, it's asking for a return URL. 
Down here, it's asking for a return URL. What this is, is it's asking you what page do you want the person to be taken to after they click submit on the form. So I already have a page and this is the back end of Webflow. Webflow is a, a website platform, it's awesome. So the page that I have, I've created, it's called thank you. So when I click on that, this is, this is what the page looks like and this is what they're gonna get after they click submit and it has a link back to go back to the main website. So I'm just gonna put that in, put in the exact URL. So recapture API key pair. So if I click the lookup, here's the one I already have, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna create a new one and we're gonna call it demo recaptcha and I'm gonna input those key pairs that I got earlier. So I'm gonna copy here the site key and go back and then paste it in. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get the secret key, copy it, paste it in, and then click save. Oops, something happened, let me try that again. New key. Demo recaptcha. Let's go back and get the site key. Secret key. It's telling me here I can't, um, and I think it wants underscores here. So I'm just gonna give it a, try for a third time. I'm just gonna give it a one line. So I'll just call it re Capture B2. Go back and we're gonna get the site key again. And the secret key. Paste that in, third time's a charm. Okay, perfect, third time's a charm. So now there's our entry and we just click look up, we can see it, we can see it there. I'm going to click generate. And so it's gonna give me this code. Now there's two parts to this. The first part, and you can see it here, it's saying is the part that's gonna go in the head section of the page where you're putting the form and the recaptcha. So you're gonna copy this and you're gonna go back to your website and you're gonna, however you're doing it, you're gonna go to whatever page where that web form is gonna be. And I'm gonna come down here. Actually, I'm gonna go back here and click on the, click on the, on the settings of this page. So within Webflow, this is specific to Webflow and other, other websites have something similar to, similar to this. They have a dedicated section because they know this is often a common thing. This is where we can put that specific head tag information. So I'm just gonna go back here just for a moment. And I'm just gonna copy it again to make sure I got it. And then we're gonna go back and I'm just going to paste that in. I'm just gonna paste that in. So I'm gonna click save. So that is the, that's just the recaptcha information. Now down here, the second part of the form is actual the, the field data. So I'm gonna copy all that and I'm gonna go back to Webflow. I'm gonna edit this section and I'm gonna come down here to where the form is. Now this is a code embed. So when I click on the, the field settings, um, it allows me to edit the code. Now there's already something in here, but I'm just going to remove it and I'm gonna click paste. And you can see here telling by the code that these are the actual fields. So there's the first name field, the last name, uh, the email and the company. And I'm gonna click save. So that is that. And I'm gonna click save on my website on Webflow. I do wanna show you what this looks like 
if you're not, what the code actually looks like on just a plain website. So if I take that same code, just the form code, and I'm gonna save it as a, um, let's call it raw, raw form dot HTML. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. And if I go and close that, and I go and look at that form on the desktop, If I go look at that form on the desktop, this is it. It's very raw, um, and these are the fields. Now, the reason it's it's looking uh, nice like this is that Webflow is doing the formatting. So it's, it's aligning it, uh, it's giving it all these colors, um, it's making it somewhat, somewhat look prettier. If you need, if you're not using a website platform like Webflow and you need some assistance, um, formatting it and making it look prettier. Um, you can get some help from someone or you could go to ChatGPT and then ChatGPT can help you pretty it up and then put it on your website. So for those who are curious about how this would look in ChatGPT, uh, I went ahead and entered the prompt in ChatGPT and said, I want the form to be in the middle of the page there should be a box around it with margins of 1.5 inches all around. The color of the box should be light navy blue. I still want the rounded button, but it should be this color, which is one of the hex colors, as the main color, and this color, which is another hex color, should be the hover color. So it generated this text for me, and I'll just show you what that looks like. So here's what it looked like before, straight from Salesforce, and then this is what the new improved version looks like from ChatGPT. So obviously a lot nicer. All right, here we come to our last step. We're gonna test the web to lead form on the website. So I'm just gonna enter in a name here. So Susan Smith, and it's gonna be Susan.Smith at acme.com. It has to be a properly formatted email address to get fed in. And we'll put the company of Acme. And I'm going to click, I'm not a robot. And we're going to click submit. Okay, we get the page that we were landing on. And so we'll just click that. It brings me back to the website. So now if we go into Salesforce, and I'm going to go into my sales application. And I'm going to go to leads and I'm going to go to uh, today's leads and there we go. There is Susan Smith. So that has successfully demonstrated the web to lead form, how to put it on a website, how to pretty it up if you need to using chat GPT. Um, also how to apply a capture to it and that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.